Right, you guys, if you're a Windows 10 user, then every Windows 10 user is going to need this tool right here. It's called MS Dart. It's a pretty decent uh, bit of kit to have, especially if you fix PCs on a regular basis. Now, they've released many different versions of this over the years, depending on what version of Windows is. But in this one, we're looking at Windows 10 version. You're going to need Rufus to create your bootable uh, USB flash drive. You can download the portable version here if you wish. I've already got my ISO created uh, with MS Dart on it, a 64-bit version. Uh, but if you want me to show you a video on how to create it, then I'll try and do that video for you. So you can see here I've got my USB flash drive plugged in, 64 gigabyte version. And now I need to select the actual ISO image here. So you can see here, Dart 10 X64. This is the English version. So I'm going to install that onto the USB flash drive. Got partition scheme here, GPT. If you're using UEFI, and if you want to use M MBR for BIOS or UEFI-CSM, you can do by using that method. It's entirely up to you which one you want to go for. The more modern one is the GPT uh, version, but you will have non-CSM uh, on there. Okay, so I'm just going to do uh, MBR for this video, and uh, we'll go with that one in here. So let's go ahead and get this created. So you can see I've got file system NTFS, and that's what we're going for here. I'm going to leave that as is and then all I need to do now is click on start and this will start to create and build our um, USB flash drive with MS Dart on it. Now it's going to wipe all the data on that USB flash drive so I'm going to click OK and let that happen. And what I'll do is I'll speed this process up so you don't get bored and basically that is done. You can click close here and we can now take our USB flash drive over to the computer and boot up to it. So I'm going to be pushing F12 on my keyboard here and this is so I can get to the boot options and uh, you might have to push a different key on your keyboard but mine is F12. You can see here SanDisk that is the USB flash drive. I'm going to click on that and it will then start to load up. You will see a Windows 10 logo screen. Don't worry that is exactly what you're supposed to see because this is for Windows 10. Let's take a bit of time to get to the loading page, but there we go, it's starting to go now. And what we're going to do here is get the option to allow uh, internet connectivity through this live PE. So I'm going to say yes here. Now we need to select our keyboard layout and I'm going to say US. And now we need to go to troubleshoot. And now you'll see Microsoft Diagnostics and Recovery Toolset. This is what we're on about, Dart for short. And uh, that's what we're going to be using. Now you can see here we've got a load more tools to actually fix and repair Windows 10. We've got the registry editor. You have to be on offline uh, for this one, but it allows you to uh, basically edit the registry from this location, which is a must have. Locksmith, again, we can change the password. We've also got Crash Analyzer. Now, Crash Analyzer is if you keep getting crashes and you get blue screen of death and you get those little dump files, you can navigate to that folder, pick that um, actual file and then uh, analyze it and it will show you what was causing the crash. We've got file recovery or file restore. This is in case you want to recover files from the computer, you can just search for them here and you can recover them. So it's quite useful uh, little tool to have and you just do a search for it or you can do a search for a folder. So if you've got a certain folder on your desktop that has all your favorite documents in it and you want to back it up, you can do by uh, doing that here. And you can put in some information down there, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Disk Commander is another thing that you can use. Go next here and it will allow you to restore the master boot record and it will also allow you to uh, recover one of the um, volumes, boot volumes on the computer. You can also restore the partition table from Disk Commander and save partition tables to Disk Commander Backup if you want to do that as well. Another thing we can do here is go into Disk Wipe and you can also use this utility to erase all the data on the volume or hard disk. So you can select which volume or which disk you want and you can do a four pass US Department of Defense wipe on that drive. Very simple and easy to do. Computer management here relies offline OS and also we've got Explorer.
which allows you to obviously explore the computer and explore the drive. So you can go into your C drive here, which will say my computer, you just click on this. And again, you can go into users and check the user which you want to get the files off of, or maybe delete some files. Maybe uh, you've got some viruses on there and you want to manually remove them or something's causing an issue. You can use this to navigate to that location. Very simple and easy to do. And uh, that is the Explorer there. And we've also got Solution Wizard. Now Solution Wizard is, uh, you know, a proper repair tool for what you need to do. So you just go next here open this up and it will say system will not start correctly you can put the radio button in there or data on the system needs to be salvaged and we've also got cannot log in because the password lost your password or you've got some other problems with the computer you can go through using that there very simple and easy to do again i can show you videos on this sort of stuff if you want to it's entirely up to you let me know in the comments section below what you want me to do with this uh, tool TCP IP configuration, you can configure the TCP IP configuration on here. You can either set in your own DNS and your own IP address, or you can let it obtain uh, one automatically for you. Again, you've got access to this location here as well. Let's come out of here. You've got Hotfix Uninstaller, which you can uninstall hotfixes. So when it's been downloaded, if there's a problem with it, you can remove it using that feature there. You've got SF see scan as well and we also have a search and remote connection if you want to do a remote connection via this method you can do as long as it's set up correctly and that is it you also still have access to reset this pc and advanced tools here which will give you access to the command prompt and go back to a previous build if you've got a previous build on there that you want to roll back you can still get access to those system restore system image recovery and startup repair now I have made videos on how to create the Microsoft Diagnostic and Recovery Toolset, DART for short. I've had made videos on that before, but if you want to see an updated version, then let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Other than that, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.